tis time. Hello, Salem. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a Hocus Pocus look with the beautiful ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection. Um, so first of all, this is going to be a collab and yes, my hair is crazy. I'm doing Winifred today just to get that out of the way. But this is going to be a collab with CP Fashion Cosmetics, also known as Caitlin. Um, I've done a lot of collabs with her, group, multi-channel collabs, that type of ordeal. We just posted our villains one where I did Freddy. She was in that group and she did Maleficent. Um, so yeah, you guys should definitely go check her out. She's going to be posting her first impressions video today. And that's sort of what I'm doing here as well. I will have her linked down below in the description. Thank you, Caitlin, again for collabing. I'm so excited to actually watch you create your look. I've already seen a picture of it, you guys, and it is stunning. So pretty. So yeah, I am going to be doing a first impressions on the products I was able to get. Can we talk about the shit show that was ColourPop on launch day? It was insane. Twist the bones and bend the back. Theater decoupled mechanistic just like this. So, um... I'm going to be doing it first impressions because this is my first time dipping into this palette. But I'm also, as you guys can see, going to be doing a little bit of a Winifred inspired look. I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. Now I am going to be doing a full glam eyeshadow. So it's not going to be like full on Winifred, but I am going to still try to mimic that with the hair. I'll probably do her lip shape, that type of ordeal, so it's still going to be fun. And I have wanted to do the Sanderson Sisters for so long. So today you guys get Winifred with this collab with Caitlyn, but we're going to be collabing again this week um, to do another round of the sisters. Um, but before the week is over, I am going to have all three Sanderson sisters up um, and my take on them. And I'm going to be using this palette with each of those looks. So it'll also give you guys some inspiration if you did or were able to get it. If you weren't, I'm so sorry. It was such an awful launch. I just, if they don't restock it, it'll be the, literally the shittiest thing ever. Like, so that I'm not sitting here blabbering the whole time, I am going to start my brows because I am completely barefaced today, guys. I usually come a little bit more prepared, but today I was like, nope. So I'm going to do my brows with my Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Taupe. Um, I think just like normal. I'm going to be doing regular glam eyes, so why not? So if you weren't uh, a part of the fiasco of launch day, pretty much uh, their Shopify account or whatever their server couldn't take the traffic, which we hear all the time with so many launches. Um, but the difference with this one was it was so intense and I get like Hocus Pocus is very, very loved, but it was so intense that ColourPop literally just gave up that day and was like, nope, we'll come back. We'll do it a different day. <laughs> so they literally, like, I spent two hours that day next to my laptop trying to reload their page, all for them to finally post in their story and be like, scratch that, we're launching it tomorrow instead. So they literally, I've never seen that happen before, um, where they, at, like, actually cancel it for that day. I mean, it may have happened with other brands, but I personally have never seen that, so I was shocked. I just thought it was going to be a long delay, and then everybody was going to be able to get in that same day. Nope. So I had to go through it the second day. Oh, look. Another glorious morning. It makes me sick. And thankfully, the second day, it was probably about within 10 minutes, and I was checking out. But by the time I got to check out, because I literally, I had the eyeliner set, all three lip kits, the palette, I think that's it. I think that's all I was really worried about getting. And by the time I got to check out, um, 
the eyeliners were sold out and I was only able to get the palette and, the, and one of the lip kits, which is actually Winifred, so I'm going to be using it today. That was the only two things I was able to get from the collection. Besides that, I ordered their, or the Soul Body bronze, like cream bronzer. So that was it. I was expecting my order to be over $100 and end up being like 40 50 <laughs> because everything was just taken out of my cart. It was awful. Um, and then a few days after that, they were like, oh, now Ulta is going to launch some of it. And like within, I would probably say 10 minutes again, it was completely sold out. It's insane. I'm gonna start priming my eyes with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. But I can say um, it is definitely my favorite Halloween movie, which is saying a lot because I am a huge Tim Burton fan. Every year, I could literally watch Hocus Pocus every single day in October. I could literally watch it all year long, though. It's just like one of those movies, and when you need a good cozy pick-me-up, it is just so good. I've actually seen that they're reuniting this year. I'm wondering what it's going to be for. I feel like it's going to be for, like, Freeform's Ordeal, the 31 Nights of Halloween, but I'm excited to see what it's all about and see the three sisters together. I knew with the other sisters, I'm going to have to take it there with wigs. So with this one, I was like, let me see what I can do with my own hair. And this is the best I could get. I wanted to get it a little bit more teased and poofier, but I'm rolling with it. It's already coming down a little bit. I am not good with hair whatsoever. I am definitely more of a makeup person, not a hair person. All right, guys, and here's the beauty. I do, I have to say, I really do love the packaging. Honestly, even like this up here, I think is super cute. And the names are adorable. I'm definitely going to be sticking with greens for Winifred. It's gonna kind of, I guess the eyeshadow is kind of gonna go with their outfits. And I am going to go ahead and dip into On Toast right here and I'm just going to start blending this neutral brown shade into my crease. I've heard that it's a lot like ColourPop's um, regular formula so I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this palette. But I'm just going to start a transition. I don't know if I should zoom you guys up or just let you guys have the full effect with the hair. <laughs> the shade does kind of cling. It kind of looks like it's clinging but it's only because I don't set my MAC paint pot so it's just kind of uh, clinging a little bit to that, but these shades easily just blend out. You just got to do a little extra uh, work with the blending. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight with Full Moon, which is this pale shade up here. It has, it looks like it has a slight shimmer to it, but nothing like too crazy. Yeah, I see a little bit of specks, but it's not bad. I'm going to put a little bit of that in the inner corner as well. I actually really like that highlight shade. Like, I feel like that's going to become a favorite for a lot of looks. I'm going to go back into On Toast and just add a little bit more up by the brow bone. I really want this transition with the next shade. Because the next shade is going to be the matte green, uh, Bewitched. Go ahead and show you guys it too which is right here. We're going to go into Bewitched, and then we're going to go into this beautiful metallic green after that, which is Yavos. What do you call them, Max? Yavos? I'm just going to take this on the outer corner first, just really packing it down, and then start slowly blending it into the crease. I don't want to cover up the transition completely. I want it to be peeking out a little bit from the top. really pretty matte green. I feel like it's a little patchy on the outer corner and I have to keep adding a little bit, but it's really pretty. Now, you guys know I usually don't do this if you've been on my channel for a while. I really like to blend out the edges, but I do feel like her eye shape with her eyeshadow kind of just is rounded out without blending out the edges. So I'm going to keep it a little bit harsh for this look right on the edge, but I did blend out the rest. Go ahead and do this side. All right, we are here. Now I'm gonna go into Yabos with my finger because their metallics apply so beautifully with your finger. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start kind of packing it down. 
across the lid. It's so pretty. And then going back into Bewitched, the matte green. I'm just gonna clean up around it just a little bit. And then I'm also going to take a little bit more of the highlight shade Full Moon just to put right through there. I'm just shaping my face a little bit. I went ahead and did foundation, concealer, and powder. Skip that boring stuff for you guys. Um, and now I just use a little bit of my Hula Light Bronzer to add a little bit of contour, but not crazy. Is it just me, or do you guys think that ColourPop should have came out with a blush palette or like blushes for each one of them? Like, ColourPop, do you see their blushes in the movie? Like, I'm gonna try to mimic it. I have my Esmeralda blush in the shade Court of Miracles. So I'm gonna try to mimic. And I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter. I have my Aurora one, um, Coronation. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. kind of like a pinky champagne hue to kind of go with the blush a little bit. Now I'm going to set my face, well, let's do, I'm gonna put a little bit of the green on the lower lash line and then I'm done with the look. When it comes to the eyeshadow, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face real quick. Alright, and now for the lips. Like I said, I have the one lip kit. It's super cute though. Kind of got the hair a little bit. <laughs> um, this is the shade, I think I put a spell on you. Yeah, I put a spell on you. It is a lip kit, so it's kind of like Kylie's lip kits. I just love the details though on the packaging. It's so cute. The palette is the same and I just I love it. Alright, I'm going to pull up a picture of Winnie so that I can get her lips down. She is quite the looker. I'm gonna take the lip liner. I think this is my first time trying ColourPop's lip liners, actually. Alright guys, now that my hair is like falling and everything else, um, this is the completed look. I feel like it looks a little crazy, but at the same time, it's very glam and not fully Winifred. Um, I love it though, and this palette is really nice. The formula is really good. I love the packaging. It looks like a book, which is super cool. Um, I really do like it. I think it would have been really cool to see like the actual book um, of spells, but it's still really cute. I love it. And the shadows performed really well. Like I said, two more videos are going to be coming. Um, I'm going to be doing Mary and Sarah, so we're going to play with some more shades and really test this palette out. But I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, I feel like those greens are so beautiful. The greens are honestly, I think, what won me over with this palette too. I mean, Hocus Pocus, obviously, but... The shades are so pretty and the lip is good. I like their lip products. The lip liner was really nice. The lipsticks I've already loved. Um, but okay, so the lipstick is called Winnie. So what is the liner called then? Is it just called Winnie too? Come We Fly. So cute. I love that. I wish I could have got the other ones, got my hands on them. I will just have to dig out some reds for my collection. I have plenty plenty of red, so I'm sure I will find a fitting one for Mary and Sarah. Overall though, I'm excited and happy about the items that I did get, and I love this look. I think it's so cool. Again, thank you so much, Caitlin, for joining me for a collab. Little first impressions. Um, 
and I took it there. <laughs> uh, but make sure you guys go check out Caitlin's video and see the beautiful look she did. I can't wait to watch. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.